Well, good morning and welcome to this time of morning prayer from the Church of St. Mary's in Sanderstead. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> the night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 14. It is the fool that says in their heart that there is no God. They are corrupt and they do abominable deeds, and there is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there are any who are wise who seek after God. They have all gone astray. There is none who do good, not one. Have they no knowledge, all these evildoers who eat up my people as if they were bread and do not call upon the Lord? There they shall be in great terror, for God is with the company of the righteous. You would confound the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that deliverance for Israel would come from Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Today's canticle is called A Song of the Covenant. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prisoners, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Today's reading is taken from the New Testament Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, beginning at verse 47. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, is it with a kiss that you betray the Son of Man? When those who were around him saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, should we strike with the sword? Then one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said no more of this, and he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple police, and the elders who came for him, Have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were abandoned? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you didn't lay hands on me, but this is your hour 
and the power of darkness. Then they seized him and they led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. But Peter was following at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down, Peter was among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the firelight, stared at him and said, This man was also with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A little later, somebody else, on seeing him, said, You are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. Then about an hour later, yet another kept insisting, Surely this man was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him before the cock crows today, you will have denied me three times. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, you make the places we encounter you sacred and special. As we belong to Christ, so may your church build on his firm foundation. Lord, build us into living temples for your praise and your glory. Lord, you challenge your people with a justice that is based on righteousness and not fear. Give us courage to uphold the rights and worth of all and incline our hearts to your truth. Lord, everything comes from you and we delight in your generous mercy. Lord, give us grace to show forth our gratitude with those who are friendly and hostile and transform the world with your amazing grace. Lord, in trials and in joys, your love reaches out to us. You have promised never to leave us or forsake us, even when we feel alone and are in darkness. Lord, let your light shine with hope and strength. Holy God, you hold us in life and in death. Remember for good those whose earthly life is now over, and in your righteousness preserve us and keep us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Generous God, you give us gifts and you make them grow. Though our faith is as small as a mustard seed, Please make it grow to your glory and the flourishing of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.